Hello everyone, welcome back on Mr. Mew channel guys. I am Ramke Singh, Unity Game Developer, YouTuber and Blogger. So friend, in last tutorial, what we learned that how we can move in Oculus Quest 2 by using the joystick, left joystick for movement and right joystick for just rotation. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about that we have two controllers, left and la right, left and right and there are few buttons. So it is very important for us to know that what are the buttons name and how we can get the values so in this tutorial i'm going to see, share with you that what are the buttons name so that whenever i'm just saying a name you get a proper idea that what i am talking about and there is two perspective one developer and one user so first of all i'm going to share with you a user perspective that what we call here you can see this is the left and right and two controllers so last time i talk about there is two joystick left joystick right joystick so this is the first one we call thumb stick okay so you can move it and in the last part what we learned that when you move it so you just walk on the floor and when you use this one so it just rotate your player okay so last tutorial was around this and it is for user means the user uh, button we call it so that you can get idea and in development that is a different name but you should know the what user call it and second one is menu button so this is the button we call it menu button and third one is oculus button so here you can see you will see the logo of oculus so this is called oculus button and when you click on that button if you are inside the your application you are playing any application so when you click on that button so your application will ask that you want to exit the application or you want to capture a screenshot or you want to record a screen so oculus button play a very important role so you should know and fourth one is battery covers means this part is battery covers so when you push that so it will be get out and he, there you will see there is a cell so you can change the cell if you this is discharge basically that is the battery covers and this part that is the fifth that is the here you can see this is the bottom of of your controller this is the grip button so in left right there are two grip button in left one and right one so grip button play a very important role most of uh, oculus games use grip button to teleport from one point to another point it's very important and sixth one is triggered so behind and of the control here you can see this is the trigger button so you can click trigger button let's suppose you have created one ui and there is one button so by using the trigger button you press that button by using your ray okay so this was the on the perspective of user and there is another name on the oculus website so that you will use when you want to access your button click or your joystick movement by using script so here you can see the left side joystick called primary thumbstick okay access 2d because it's give us x and y value x y plus and minus value and in the right side this joystick called secondary thumbstick okay and x y and here you can see a b so a call button one b call button two and same in the left side button is start button uh, three button four and the menu button call button is start. and here you can see this is the trigger what we learned but here we call it primary index trigger and same here secondary index trigger okay and for the grip here we are using axis primary hand trigger and here we are using secondary hand trigger so basically you have to learn that left hand is primary thumbstick right hand is secondary okay so we work on the joystick trigger and grip okay so in upcoming parts i will let you know that how we can write the code to get the joystick value what we are getting the value when you wait when you will use joystick so there will be uh, some values so it is a very important if you want to perform any animation on hands so basically we use these values so here you can see there are there are access hardware features what are the features of this buttons so here it is mentioned so i will just explain that how you can 
access through the code so see you in next part and hope this will make you more comfortable with oculus quest 2 because people see the left hand and right hand controls they really get confused and worry that what are the controllers so basically you, you get a better idea so in next part we will learn that how you can get the teleport and we will use the trigger here you can call this primary hand trigger so i will use the trigger to teleport from one point to another point so thanks for watching have a good day see you in, in next video and don't forget to like subscribe and share if you want to support me so please join my youtube channel as well as just give me thanks on video so bye bye take care see you next video.